Hey guys, and welcome back to Zombie City, where let me tell you, cities are very weird, weird places. So one of the things that I've been trying to do in this area is be like, no cars. There are no cars in this game, so why would I have, like, roads and stuff like that in my city? But then I'm like, well, what, what delivers stuff around? And obviously you would use, like, pack mules or llamas, maybe even flying machines. So there would be some sort of... A right of way you know there would be a, a road of some description for them but the first thing that springs to mind for mules and llamas and stuff like that is dirt and let me tell you i do not want a dirt pathway or a dirt road being the main structure in my city so i'm, I'm not sure what i'm going to do about that that also then begs the question like so we have a, a road surface over there for mules and, and llamas and, and such forth that can kind of come down this way so it can curve up there quite nicely maybe even go underneath here and then turn up somewhere maybe a tunnel Maybe a tunnel? I'm not sure. Maybe this could be the top edge of the tunnel. Sorry, just, just kind of uh, throwing ideas. So we'll have a road going there. This is obviously a footpath for, you know, whatever counts as human in this world. Uh, then we would have, like, sky lanes for flying machines. Is, th is that a thing? Could that possibly be an actual thing? And, of course, mine carts underground. But what would I put? for the central road bit here now obviously i'd want to i want to put something like like this sort of distance across and there's all sorts of things i could use maybe maybe like brown clays stuff like that i, I shouldn't be breaking this by hand that's that's uh very very manual of me there's no what no reason to do that uh like we could have a, a wooden pathway i don't i don't think that's a very good idea the soul sand also equally terrible idea it, it would slow you down there's no point mycelium mycelium roads is that a thing can, can this be a thing I, I mean it can be a thing i'm not sure if it is the thing i want though mm, it looks just a little bit too natural if you know what i'm saying I, like it doesn't feel urban and city ish but oh at the same time it kind of does i mean is, is a is a line down the middle acceptable is that is that something we're gonna want i think it is uh let let's try good old cyan stained clay here i know that's more used as a building material traditionally in these uh modern settings but let's let's try that you know what? I could be convinced. I could be convinced. I'm not. I'm not sure on the particles. What? What? What else could we use? I mean, perhaps we could use the science. Don't, well, that that just looks like road, then, doesn't it? That just looks like road. Uh, maybe some wool, something like that. Uh, <laughs> the mel melon block. I mean, that that would be interesting. In fact, let's uh, let's just do a uh, fill command. That that would be the easiest way. Oh, not not three L's. That's that's no good. That's no good. Uh, Melon. No, can't can't do melon block. Is that is that what we're missing here? Okay. No, <laughs> just just all all flavors of no. Uh, I'm fairly sure that pumpkin is going to be the same. Yeah, no, I don't like that. So so that's something I'm thinking about. I think I think mycelium is probably one. The other thing I'm thinking about is building layouts. Now, obviously, you guys have saw this one last time. In the intervening time, I've put down a few other things. Now, obviously, this building is going to be the first one you see when you leave the start tower. Let's say. You gonna let me in? Let's say that you you come out of here and then you look across because you know it's the it's the first place to see. First thing you see is this over here, which um I've I've put in all the hexagon uh hexagonal yeah hex is six right yeah 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 uh, all the hexagonal pieces over there uh, we'll, we'll go and talk about that in a second but here I want to kind of have this like almost following on from the whole. Uh, what type of transport would you use? I think this is either going to be stables or shops. I'm thinking stables more because, you know, you might want a stable there. Perhaps there's some sort of system of getting a horse egg and then you can have like a personal personal horse to ride around on. I'm not sure how that would be a thing that happens. I'm now like running through systems in my head because obviously you want the horse to despawn when they log out and then you want it to be able to respawn when they come back in. So maybe you could clone the entity somewhere into someone's specific cell that you've assigned through a command block somehow. I, I don't know. That just seems like a maybe maybe pet system will be something that goes on over here i've been working a little bit on some designs for the side here looking at it you see this sort of broken up brown and uh sandstone 
stairs and clay. I think that'd be much better on this top, on this top bit here. Uh, I, I really like the aesthetic that's going on here. I think it's a, a nice feel, a nice nice thing that's going on. But this, it almost looks like lots of windows and stuff. So we could like induce the feeling of busyness up there, and then it will feel a lot a lot bigger. So I've been laying out my in big inverted commas road network uh that that's that's kind of being put down here i made i don't know if it's a mistake i made the decision to put down a diagonal road here uh i'm not sure whether i like it all the way oh hello rain let's get rid of you um I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. Mainly for this road here. I like this because it's going to lead down this way. Now, some of you may remember from my first, like, planning episode, which this might end up being a planning episode. Uh, over this way, I wanted to have the, you know, the labs that the infection originally spread from. And I'd like to have a bridge here leading across. So if you are foolish enough to go straight out of the start area, you can go straight to the hardest area, but I want you to be dead by the time you cross the bridge. You know, I, I want something to really show you that this is the, the horrific area where everything started, all the zombies are like of their maximum evolution. I don't know what that means, but it'll be something. Perhaps levitating zombies coming at you across the bridge? I, I don't know if that's a thing. We'll, we'll try and figure something out. Maybe ghast riding zombies that that would be fun but anyway so the first thing i want to the first thing i want to do <laughs> the next thing i want to do is start thinking about what all these buildings are now this one I, I i kind of had this pegged as if not luxury flats at least something that would be luxurious enough to have a swimming pool up on this layer here I, I'm, I'm thinking more and more a hotel as, as time goes on i think this is going to be a hotel -y type building uh the hexagonal one over here which whoa trying to get this i really wish i'd started recording like last night night before uh, because just trying to put this yellow, this uh, wall down to make this shape look look right was an absolute nightmare. The the markings that I put on the floor absolutely useless, no good to me whatsoever. I started building from the top. Oh, let's push the right button. I've been playing a, another game that has a flight controls very similar but not quite the same as Minecraft. So I kept on messing it up there. But now that I'm used to that, I'm now messing it up here a lot. Uh, I'm gonna go for a prismarine aesthetic. I thought you know it's um. Yeah, you know, slightly reminiscent of all the new wave of you know, is it Middle Eastern buildings uh, out in the Emirates and stuff like that that are being built. Maybe even like Taipei one and stuff like that. It's got this sort of prismarine aesthetic on the go. And if I come all the way to the bottom, smash! This is this is kind of what I'm gonna feel for. It's uh, simplistic. It's very simplistic. I'd like to add a lot more detail to that before I do anything major. Wow, I've been talking all day. But this is kind of gonna be the buttressed area. Now that I've uh, laid it out, I think it's quite thin. I think it's quite thin. You can see over here that roughly this hexagon matches up with this yellow one uh, very roughly doesn't doesn't quite work out incidentally i could only be bothered to do the two sides it was a lot of work trying to figure out that right size um and i had estimated out the buttress to be about this size this yellow size for for that and whilst that would work over here i think that would intrude too much upon the city on this side so i think i might go for a big one a small one and a medium buttress because obviously there's going to be three there's going to be three there's going to be one over this side as well leading off over here um so yeah yeah let, I, I think i think that's going to be good we'll have these two being quite big on this side and then a relatively stumpy only goes up about halfway on this side this one can go like most of the way like two thirds and that one can go three quarters something like that and then it'll just be that little top bit sticking out the top there so yeah i'm gonna play around refer to my design document which uh will tell me what the other buildings need to be like this one i think was going to be some sort of banking area yeah, I think this is going to be a bank with a tunnel running through it. Uh, banks obviously going to be like all. Maybe this is where the whole cyan and uh, cyan and glass come into play. Like this sort of this sort of aesthetic. It'd be quite nice actually. Just great big, great big walls of this accented with. I don't I don't know what other colours. There there will have to be an accent colour. Probably you know blue and white because that's what goes really well with this colour. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll be back when I've got a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more wool on the ground, really.
Oh, guys, I made a mistake. So I was putting down some of this yellow, orange, sorry, sandstone to see if it would work as a road. And I was like, I know, I'll just do a fill command. And suddenly things went horrifically wrong. Like, oh, oh, so much wrong. Went all the way out to about halfway across the water. Took out... Loads of stuff under here. Loads and loads. Thankfully, almost everything was down two layers rather than one. There's just a bit of connective redstone going up there. But, um, yeah, check check your coordinates, guys. Even if you're using the tab... You guys may have seen this. If you go fill, you can tab your way... That's probably what happened right there. You see that? Uh, you can tab your way through and store coordinates like this. Now, I had done it from that edge up there and then came down and connected to this edge here obviously somehow those first set of coordinates didn't store properly which is weird because i was doing all the work on this side like you can see here this is this is where i started it from so how did it get out here none of the numbers were out here but anyway i got a whole load of like fixing to do oh and just in case any of you guys are used to using a world edit with a nice uh, undo option just uh just to show you it's not it's not a thing it's never been a thing uh, it's, it's something that i re wish minecraft would implement but yeah it's not a thing so some of you right now might be totally like oh my god it's so much work how are you gonna get around and do all this all the time well there are various ways you can do this you can see like in here uh i'm I might try and enlarge this in the video so I can show you. You see this little replace air tag here at the end of my fill command? This makes things a lot easier for just going around and filling in spaces. Like when, you, when you've when you drawn the outline of a path, you can just kind of come along and copy and paste this. Occasionally you might have to fill in little areas like this. But, you know, mainly it makes things a lot, lot quicker. Now I'm not sure how much further we're going to go with this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this here like so. I'm um, I also think this is kind of a good thing because I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the sea of stone brick. Uh, I'd come to rely on it too much as a little bit of a crutch for like filling space up and I was starting to feel like it was a bad thing anyway. So now that I've actually gone through and removed it all from here, obviously totally purposefully, I'm thinking, hmm, I could put other stuff here. I could put much better other stuff here. So all you people that are like, hey, I want to help out, these are the bits I actually need help with. The buildings themselves, nice and easy to be done. The Well, they're not nice and easy. They actually need a lot of work and, and stuff like that. But the, these are the areas where I'm like, well, what do you fit in this sort of space? And I mean, like, really, what do you fit in this sort of space? So it turns out what you put here is rubble that fell off the side of the building. I, I think that's worked out really well, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that. Obviously, I need to kind of extend it out left and right, or at least find other areas to kind of clump up. You can kind of get the impression that stuff has fallen down from this area to here, which which I kind of like. I kind of like it. It looks pretty good. It, it's... Just the beginnings, though. Just the beginnings of an idea. Talking of just the beginnings round here, I've started extending up this other side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and I kind of like it. Uh, you can see I've been trying to do a bit of forced perspective up there. But I feel like I could do something a little bit better. Concrete. Let's uh, let's just get the white concrete powder out. Uh, not the cop. Not the powder, just the actual white concrete. It's um, a little grey in texture now that I hold it in my hand. But let's uh, let's just go up this way and see if this adds anything. I was uh, looking at this pattern from the distance and I was like, it's still just a little flat. And I thought the easiest thing I could do to bring it out would be to just slap this layer of blocks on the front here. Now, does that look good? I'm not sure. What what do you guys think? I need some feedback about this one here. Another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here and get my clone on. Uh, so I want that one. Let's uh, slash clone, if I could type correctly, here, here. Okay, that's good. Then you come around the back and clone from this one. Uh, because I've got a double... A double topper here, you can see. Um, I just kind of cloned these up uh, verbatim, if you will. And that's not what I want. I want to... 
I want to kind of compress these top ones down a little bit. Now it always goes bottom northeast corner, so we want to clone to here. Bam! And that should now make it all feel pretty good. Now I just want to bring that top one down too, and it can you can start to get a feel of it getting taller as it goes up. So that's nice. I've also put down some flooring over here, or at least like the marker for the road. You can see it curves back in here and comes to uh, to go up down this way. Low Loads of stuff planned out over there. We're, we're going to talk about it all. Uh, this orange road. It's another thing I want some feedback about. I kind of like it because it's like the thing that doesn't get used. The, uh, the material that's never going to get used. And it's a slab so we can sit it down. And there's uh, white slabs to put in the middle. I kind of like it but then at the same time it's very very orange. So I don't know. When you come out of this place, you've got kind of three ways you can go. You can go up that way, up that way, or round this way. Now these two, this one kind of leads over to the lab. I'm expecting people to go that way, get overwhelmed, and come back. That That's kind of what I'm hoping for over there. This way leads into the actual central business district. This is where all the big, major, tall buildings are going to be with their various adventure sites and stuff like that. But somewhere in this room, I'm going to leave... Um a couple of villagers, pro probably a couple actually, uh, there'll be lots of villagers all the way on the way down, recommending that you take this tunnel over here. Now it's going to be hard to try and figure out how to word it so you don't go through this tunnel. You want to follow the road to the right and go down this tunnel here. Uh, you can see I've been marking out some landing spaces, uh, what this place is going to look like, that's, that's pretty cool. But down this way you can see this goes to the mall, which is where I'd imagine most people want to go to to begin with. Um, I want to show people the central business district to start because I want them to be aware that this is a place to come back to. But then you have to go to other places to kind of kit up, if you will. So the mall will give you probably your standard iron equipment, right? You, you turn up, um, and you can see I've been kind of laying out the floor plan. I actually plan to have it three layers. So this... You can kind of see that this is a road here. I want that to be this pathway. So this is going to come down and underneath this hill here. And roughly in this, this same area, I'm then going to have a little turning off. Uh, places for horses and mules and pigs and stuff like that. Uh, and then there'll probably be a, a stairway up on this one. Because obviously you can, you can see through down here. This central bit is going to be a hole. Uh, and that's going to go up three floors. So you're going to have the, the the basement entrance, the first floor, which will be like foot level, same, same level as all that, I should imagine. And then there'll be a third floor up above. So you can come down, there'll be I want, I want to say car park, but there's not. It's, it's a horse park down here. And then you can walk all the way to this end where there'll be like a stairway going up or something like that. Maybe an elevator. I mean, there'll probably be elevators as well. And then you can walk down this way. This is kind of going to be... This will be basement and first floor. We'll have view to this set, uh, this circle. This circle over here goes through all three layers. And then this one over here will be floor layer and top. So it will eventually end up... So say this is the basement. You'll have a bit coming out here like this. This floor will have the, the connected bit there and connected bit there with the tunnel going across but then it also comes back here to that one you see and then there's another floor on top of it that will sit like that coming back over to this one so it'll be a weird sort of l-shaped building um with two floors well, three floors but two visible from the top you have a flat bit here and then a double tall bit here know what we do with this big flat face that will end up there um there's also going to be like a whole load of grounds here that I don't know what to do with, but I'm sure we'll find stuff there. Over here we've got the university, but I should really talk about... So if you go through them all, uh, you could then find like the walkway to the university grounds, maybe with some housing and suburbia around there. But if you happen to come up into the central business district first, uh, for starters, all the ground floors are going to be relatively easy. Uh, like You can walk in, fight a few normal zombies, get some normal equipment, you know, a few health potions, uh, some wooden stuff maybe the odd bit of iron stuff available but you'll have to work hard for it down here that you're not supposed to come here to equip you're supposed to come here to uh, fill the achievement of 
fighting stuff. I'm, I'm sure there will be rewards proportional to the difficulty, of course. Uh, and then you can just follow this road all the way down. Now, somehow, I want to have a blocking structure over here. Now, it's not going to completely block your way, uh, because that's not what this map is about. This map is about three exploration. Uh, but I want to have... If we follow this road down, I want to have a tunnel through here going to the university and i have no idea what the university ground is going to be like by the way I, I need to lay that all out but i want to have a tunnel going through there now obviously the mall is gonna uh take up some of the space over there so you can't just walk that way in fact there will be a fence all the way around it probably iron bar um iron iron bars is that what these called? yeah iron bar fence going all the way around which will connect to this tunnel which will then also connect to this fire station here that's what this is going to be a fire station I feel like these are five, uh, three bulky structures that can make a, I'm going to put up inverted commas, a wall that people can't pass. But I need something for here. And, th and then here we go, another, another question that I have for you guys. This hill, I want to keep it. I want to keep it. You can see I've even marked out that we're going to have a little secret down below because there's this, this nice little area here and this, this just screams secret. Uh, so we're going to put something like that there. But I want to put something on top of the hill. And I don't think that a lighthouse would work, even though I do intend to have like harbour and warehouses, maybe even a container ship. I'm not sure if a container ship would fit there, but you know what? A container ship would fit on the diagonal right here as if it was coming into port. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. So I don't know what to put here. If, if anybody has any ideas, there's going to be behind it I don't know is this gonna be is this gonna be buildings like uh, small houses or is th oh, in fact this will be uh, housing blocks if you will towers much like that one over there or perhaps even the start tower you know just small towers not not anywhere near as tall as these ones just like five or six floors where people live yeah that's what's gonna go here Okay, and then we come around. This will be sort of harbour area over here, moving around to the slightly less industrialised areas. I'm not sure exactly what could go in the tiger forest, but over this way, we will have all the mansions and large buildings. And that is roughly all the planning that I have got done today. There are a few other things have ticked over in my head, like the museum. What does the museum actually display? Uh, it's the museum of the city? I, I don't know, but I just know I want a museum over there. That's things to think about. I've got my, um, my view distance up to 32. Why is that not loading in? All right, well, anyway, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this uh, planning adventure. I will see you guys next time where I'm going to, well, probably start working on the shell of this as I've got almost all of it planned out. going to try and get the mall floor plan finished, give some thought to the university and museum. Uh, I also want to put a little beachfront right there behind me. So, yeah, I will see you then when we're going to do all of that. Bye!